No more plastic bottles in Kerala? Kerala is not just banning them, it has also come up with an alternative. Bioplastic bottles made from corn and sugarcane starch. These bottles look like plastic but break down naturally in six months, even the cap and the label. Did you know that we can turn harmful carbon dioxide emissions into plastic that's eco-friendly? This process takes carbon dioxide from burning waste that cannot be recycled and turns it into eco-friendly biodegradable plastic. This CO2-based plastic is as strong as regular plastic, but much better for the environment. It can be recycled and if it ends up in nature, it breaks down naturally without leaving behind any microplastics. This was about planet Earth, but we also have some exciting news from space. ISRO has successfully grown plants in space. On 30th of December, ISRO sent cow pea seeds to the space and now, the seeds have sprouted their first leaves. The crops experiment is designed to study how plants adapt and grow in space. Now this breakthrough is important for future long duration space missions, especially as humanity aims for deeper space exploration, including missions to Mars and beyond. In another good news, Daspara, a small village in Tripura, is now India's first self-sustaining bio-village. With most families using solar energy, biogas and organic farming, this village is cleaner, greener and earning more than 5,000 rupees extra per month on average. The Spara proves that sustainability can fight poverty and climate change. Tripura also plans to replicate this model in several other villages. In Colombia, a few farmers are working to make cattle farming greener by cutting deforestation and emissions. They are using rotational grazing, which divides fields into smaller sections, allowing grass to regrow faster and cutting methane emissions by up to 30%. They're also adopting several systems which add trees and wildlife habitats to farms capturing carbon and boosting biodiversity. While these methods are better for the environment, high costs and limited support make them challenging to adopt widely. So, which story did you love the most? Tell me in the comments. And don't forget to tune in every Friday at 8pm for more good news that's changing the world.